Hello and welcome back to Stay Happy the Mermaid. And we're just sitting outside and we've been walking, you know, trying to get to the 18,000 steps. And trying to get there <laughs> isn't always easy. But I'm trying to get them different small goals in my life, you know. Because sometimes life can be a little bit, hmm, let's call it, a little bit boring sometimes. <laughs> so when we put down some goals and dreams in it, then it's like, giving sense finally like yeah life is not that boring life can be fun life can be excited again you know get the spark back you know you know sometimes we feel like we lost the spark you know because it's just the daily routines hitting we do the same thing every day nothing different and then it's like yeah but i want something different i want to do something different and then you're starting to give yourself some small goals you don't have to be big ones, just a small one in the beginning and the stage of starting something. You just said to yourself, you know what? We do the best we can with what we can. And from that moment on, you will find out that, it's, you know, it's a good ride, this place on earth, you know? <laughs> Somebody walking with their dogs there, small kids. Such a lovely... I got a little bit distracted. And I like the background, the, the fake uh, background, you know, with the skies. <laughs> I'm joking, it's real. <laughs> no shit, Alisa, it's real, yes. No, but seriously, it was living nice, actually, how it was. See? This was how we were walking behind you now. I didn't realize it, but yeah. The sky is a uh, paid actor, <laughs> like people joking, yeah. <laughs> I just... Must come on to come here and like light up the spirit, you know, light up the mood, you know, to say to you guys that time have been rough on you, but it's gonna be easier now. And I think it, and I know that it's gonna be the mindset you're gonna have now that yes, time have been rough on me, but now I'm gonna make a change. I'm gonna make it a better time for me. Say that with me, like I really mean that this time. Like, yeah, it's been rough, but now we're gonna make a change, a real big one, the biggest one. And so that, that is the plan, and that is what we're gonna do. And uh, even though if it's getting hard, some days we're like, yeah, but I don't wanna do it. But you do it anyway. Because if your boss told you, you will done it anyway. So you have to respect yourself like a boss, how you respect your boss. That's why I say it like this, because I'm that person that always respects my boss, that's for sure. Like. 8 o'clock you say, I'll be there 8 o'clock. Now, 15 minutes before actually. I respect the boss. So why don't I respect myself when I say I'm gonna work on my dream at 6 p.m. And I don't, don't, you know? Then it's like, yeah, it's okay, it's Lisa, you know? <laughs> but when the boss say, 8 a.m. in the morning, you get there and you're ready, you know? So the point of the story is to start to get that respect you have for boss to yourself. That's you can work on what is your type of dream, you know. Yeah, that's good to be listening to that. And uh, like I said, I'm just sitting down here and relaxing before I walk more. And I just want to say hello, hello. And um, I'm going now. And bye bye. <laughs> and talk to you next time, okay?